And for those looking to travel via plane next year, the clock is ticking for you to meet new TSA guidelines. And KCAU's Rebecca Pryor joins us live from the Sioux Gateway Airport with what those changes are and why it's important to plan ahead. Rebecca? Yeah, Matthew, not a lot of people coming through currently. It is a bit of a ghost town right now in the airport. However, I was here earlier in the day when this airport was jam-packed, full of those holiday travelers, many of them coming home from their Christmas vacations this week. But those holiday travelers are going to need a little something extra to board the plane next year. And currently, less than half of Iowans qualify. Although new ID requirements at the airport were decided on more than a decade ago, even some of the most frequent flyers this month, San Francisco, Indianapolis, and now home. Haven't heard of real IDs. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Currently, less than 40% of Iowans meet real ID requirements. And what that does is that ensures that all the states have a minimum standard for issuing driver's licenses and IDs. I think that it helps prevent and deter terrorist ability to evade detection by using fraudulent identification. The key is this star in the upper right corner of the ID. The real ID replaces your old driver's license and can be upgraded at Iowa DOT license service centers. And although the deadline isn't until October of next year to avoid long wait times. It's pretty lengthy. I did not expect that it would be quite this long today. It's best to get it done sooner rather than later plan ahead and try and get it way in advance because I'm sure there will be a bottleneck come October. You'll need a list of documentation to obtain the real ID, such as proof of residency and a birth certificate in addition to a $10 fee. And if you forget to get your license upgraded before the deadline, TSA agents say there will be no exceptions made. You know, you're officially between a rock and a hard place. It's, it's not something that you can talk your way out of. So that could be one very seriously expensive uh, mistake. The upgraded licenses will also be needed to get into federal facilities come October 1st of next year. If you want to learn more about how to get this real ID and what documentation you're going to need, you can find this story on our website at SueLandProud.com. Just click on that featured content tab. Reporting live in Sioux City, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.